Saturday, June 29th, Bring the family to the Newcastle County Ice Cream Festival, where local creameries will be serving the region's best ice creams. It's like the old saying goes, I scream, you scream, we all scream and 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 it never ends. We just keep screaming. Aubrey, thanks for coming on the tour with me. I appreciate it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Listen, George. You know we're cool, right? Right. But I gotta take care of some today. You gotta recognize that. You got beef? Yeah, I got beef. It stinks. Oh God! Hey! What the f was that? Hey, 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 hold on. Just, just what? relax. It was a car backfiring. Just relax. I'm relax. Oh, God. <laughs> I just had the whole fucking experience. It was just fucking cool. Everyone was fucking on point, and we just fucking killed it, man. You guys were out in the fucking wilderness. It. Yeah. Just yeah, kind of, just fucking out there, dude. Just like yeah. fucking. Just fight, everyone fucks each other, and we all just. Fucking <laughs> we didn't have to share that. Went with for the whole it. world. Well, Middle of fucking nowhere. Welcome to Holly, weird. Oh, Fuck. You said it this way. <laughs> oh my god, Jennifer Lopez is here. Jennifer Lopez. Jennifer Lopez is here, you guys. You just performed at the Super Bowl last weekend. Amazing. What did you do last weekend, Mary Kate Place? Nothing, you lazy sack of shit. I'm just kidding, you're a national treasure. Nicholas Cage, you're a national treasure too. I'm sorry, I said that wrong. You were in national treasure too. A lot of people that recognize me kind of back away. They don't come towards me. They don't I approach, think, they, they recoil. Yeah, I think because I play, I play characters that are mean. Um, I was in New Orleans recently and a couple, I was standing somewhere on the street and mm -hmm. a couple <laughs> like came up from behind me and they were like, you're her, you're her, say something mean. And I went, leave me alone. <laughs> and then they started laughing. Yeah. And they didn't go away. And they didn't go away because you're and giving them just, what they want. Yeah. yeah. And they just kept laughing and they were like, do it again. And I was like, leave me the f <laughs> it's unfortunate that our medical system has been so oppressive in keeping the knowledge of holistic medicine suppressed. But I really think the gig is up. Far the more gig people. is up. Yes, the gig is up. <laughs> oh, there we go. Oh, great. Who do we have here, Aubrey? Well, Steve, we have Luna. Feast your eyes on this babe. This uh, Terrier Shepherd mix. She's a certified couples counselor and also has a degree in psychiatric medicine. And you know what that means. She can write prescriptions. You know what? I'm going to get that commission going because this inequality has gone on long enough. You know what? I think men are better than women. She's kidding. No, I'm not. They provide for us, and we must obey them because they are our masters. April, stop it. Leslie, you'll never land a bow with that domineering tone. We must always walk behind the men. It was kind of awesome because I was kind of thrown in. I'm half Puerto Rican, too, and I was kind of like thrown in with this like huge uh, Irish family, and I would have to do whatever they did, and, uh, which included Irish dancing. What? Um, they made you, I mean, I'm from a big, large Irish family. We never did Irish dancing. They did Irish dancing? Yeah, I competed in Irish dancing uh, competitions. I was the only dark-haired, spicy Puerto Rican uh, <laughs> okay. at those competitions, but... What kind of dances are we talking about? Irish. So I tell Glory I got this real seafood craving, and she says, where are you going? And I say, Popeyes. And she says, seafood, Popeyes is chicken. And I said, girl, get with it. Popeyes has got butterfly shrimp that is to die for. I love her to death, but she's going to get out more. I like butterflies. I don't like to just make it rain, as they say. That just seems silly to me. I don't just give other people my hard-earned cash like that. Unless they do a really good dance. What is the answer to the universe? Um, that's a really interesting question, Cutie Pie Fallon. I think the answer to the universe is just like love and animal uh, safety and just like uh, doing things with your hands. 
um, getting rid of all electricity and cyber space. I think that's that's the not the answer to the universe. The answer to the universe is right in front of you. It's me. You're welcome. In the end, we only regret the chances we didn't take. I'm taking a chance that you... Take a chance on this shit, Tay. <laughs> George. He seems nice. What, what are you, you up to this weekend? No good Santa Claus emoji. After Christmas, no it's good. very confusing. Okay. And, um, and I'm very grateful to organizations like this whose um, tremendous efforts and support go towards breaking down negative stereotypes uh, toward the Latino culture. And um, uh, fortunately, and or, or whatever, I, I've never had to face these stereotypes because no one ever believes I'm Puerto Rican. Um, but now I have proof, <laughs> which is why I'm here. So thank you, NHMC, for that. Um, what are you going to do when you're uh, you'll See, over? that's the thing. As I was asking you that question, I realized I don't have an answer you either. You want to hang out with me? Or I do. You want to take me to a, the symphony or the Kentucky Derby or something? Not the Kentucky Derby. I'll take you places. Where do you want to go? I don't know, Dave, maybe a Broadway show? No, or... no. My, my knees right. start to cramp. Bowling? Bowling, I got a bad shoulder, but let's do something. Do you, do you, do you like to travel? Around? Yeah, sure, yeah. I'll do anything. Do you, do you like uh, being outdoors in the Wild West? Yeah, I love the Wild West. Really? The wilder, the, the, the wester. <laughs> Better? <laughs> the wilder, the wester. I was in seventh grade. I went to an all-girls school, so I, we um, got, you know, had a brother school. And there was a boy at the brother's school who took a screwdriver and duct taped it to his feet and went to school and was kicking people with his screwdriver foot and then ended up getting put in juvenile um, correction facility. And I believe he was my first kiss. I remember that it tasted like metal. So my boyfriend gives me World of Warcraft for my birthday. And I'm like, I said diamonds. Then he starts telling me I can mine diamonds in the game. Whatever, I tried it anyway. One day he comes in and says, I think you like that game more than you like me. And I realized he was right. So I dumped him. World of Warcraft. The last photo I took was me dressed up as a squirrel with a nut hanging in my mouth. And I will not explain this. I have another photo of me in a different squirrel costume. I have different versions of me as a squirrel. And you'd think that the, that the White House would, <laughs> I don't know if I should talk about, well, you'd think that the White House Go ahead. should feel like <laughs> there's like a lot of cameras everywhere or like security. Sure. But it didn't feel that way to me because I kept walking around like pretending like I had an earpiece in and I kept going, uh, copy, you know, walking slowly to the thing. Yeah. And I thought like someone would jump out at me and be like, you're suspicious. Yeah. But nothing. Did you guys, does that, I don't know, uh, do you think that's an interesting subject? That, does that, do you think this movie kind of brings up anything about kind of women and sexuality that you don't normally see? about, huh? What do we have? Look at all the disasters we have to deal with. Pollution in the air, trash in the ocean, cats in theaters. Rah! Live from the Hillary Clinton rally, it's Tina Tate Civics Project. Hi, it's Jeannie Tate, Tina's stepmom, and we're here today at the Hillary Clinton rally, <laughs> doing a little extra credit report for Tina for Mrs. Sykes Civics class. Hey. Tell everybody what you're gonna do. Okay, hi, Mrs. Sykes. Take your thesis. Hi, Ms. Sykes. I'm just gonna interview people at the rally and ask some questions about and document this historic event in our nation's history. What do you think of Hillary's 
health care plan. We are paying for everyone to have health care, and we pay through the high through our high rates uh, that we give out to the insurance companies. What's the drinking age in Ireland? Do you have a fake ID? Do you want my cell phone number? These are not political questions. Hey, sorry. Okay, so this has been my project for Miss Sig Civics class at the Hillary Clinton rally. Um, what you learned? What you learned today? And today I learned. Uh, today I learned that it's disgusting when you dance. It's the grossest thing no, I've ever seen in my life. Not about me. That's not helpful. Politically, I learned that when you're at a rally, you have to stand up and sit down every minute, and no, it sucks. No, no. Hillary Clinton is ready to lead from day one. That she's got the experience. She's got a great health care plan. She's going to take the troops out of Iraq. No, and you're she's doing gonna... it again. You're doing it again. What? I told you. You always take over. Oh, it's it's just for pretend, Aubrey. I it's not my real. You know, uh, he plays a grandpa who's looking looking for some action. Uh, uh, and, and, and what what is your part? Well, I play a a, a girl looking for some action, <laughs> and uh, and I'm actually you know my soul. If we're gonna talk about it, which we are, I guess. So my sole purpose in the movie is to have sex with him, and his. Well, really, to have sex with Robert De Niro? Yeah, that's right. Oh God. <laughs> And, he's like, uh, he's f at least four times your age. Okay. <laughs> well, <laughs> I mean, age doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. No. Wow. And my character is kind of like, uh, I like to describe her as like a bad girls club girl. Um, that show on Oxygen, that's kind of like where my inspiration comes from when I think about Tatiana. She's kind of like a bad bitch who um, is kind of like a tough uh, girl from Philly who doesn't take shit from anybody and she likes to party and she likes to go on adventures. So, she, and she's very resourceful and she's kind of like a con artist, sociopath. Um, so all of these things are very exciting for me. Oh, you're sick. You're mad. You're mad. Oh, you're sick. I'm sick of ye orders. I'm sick of ye logbook. I'm sick of ye bird. And I'm sick of ye constant farting. I don't fart, says I. You just farted! Twas it me, lies I. But it's been an amazing process just going through each episode and you know things get crazier but we kind of get a little bit clearer about what's going on not sure I but like my hair <laughs> <laughs> it's good hair thank you <laughs> Aubrey I know you were a maid of honor once and yeah. so how, how do you think you were in that role with your friend I was terrified um, it's a really scary job um, I was most scared about the speech um, but I remembered that you nailed it I don't remember uh -oh. actually um, because I got very drunk and then I don't know what happened <laughs> well you know what no one if someone it, could, I'm sure. could just search the internet <laughs> yeah there's video of that yeah. please don't uh, I'll give don't you a handsome that. reward please don't do a that. handsome reward please don't do and, that and, you. Thanks for coming over. Yeah, you're the only one I'm talking to tonight. Do I look like a witch? No. You look like an angel, always. I have a wand in my purse. Let me see it. No. Please, pull out your wand. No, only special people can see it. Okay. I can hold it. You see what it's placing right there? No. Just like that. All right, fine. Like this? Yeah. Boy, it's nice to have somebody else hold the camera for a change. <sighs> Men. A hag. He curses at the sky. Hello, we are the cast of Parks and Recreation, or the ladies. The anyway. ladies. And we're going to welcome you to our People Magazine photo shoot based on my house. No. <laughs> this is where I live. No. So you, to prepare for the character of, of Lenny Cornflakes, what was the last name? Busker. Lenny Cornflakes Busker. It's a great name. Yeah, it's like a <laughs> stripper name. It's a, well, a stripper name. I, I would know. not. <laughs> what? If, if I was in a strip club and they said, up next, Lenny hey. Cornflakes Busker, I'd be like, I'm going to go get a drink. <laughs> I'd be like pulling cornflakes out of my vagina. <laughs> <laughs> Take it.
like a couple of these. <laughs> hey Rashida, what's up? Remember me, it's Aubrey. I heard that you guys don't have a theme song. I came up with a couple different options. Angie, Tribeca. The show you're starring in that you didn't cast me on. on. Didn't cast me at all in your show. Why not? I need a job. I'm unemployed. I'm not on television anymore. But you are. I should have brought my saxophone. I'm better at the saxophone, but I'm going to add that in later. You got your show. He's got his show. Everyone's got a show but me. <laughs> I don't know how to play the guitar. Just kidding, Rashida. I don't want to be on your stupid show. So that's my advice for any anxiety during a social situation. And listen, if you feel like a weirdo, it's okay. Just take it from my friend, Aubrey Plaza. That's right. If you feel like a weirdo, it's okay, because weirdos rule the world. Take a